always loved the extraordinary people. I mean, it's no secret that David Beckham changed the whole fashion world of football when he started his tattoos. Or Dennis Rodman in basketball was like seen as crazy with his different hairstyles and hair colors and all that stuff. But I loved it because these people, they stick out. You remember them. My name is Danny Williams. I'm 28. I play midfielder. I started my career in Karlsruhe, then in the age of 15 I moved to SC Freiburg in the Youth Academy. That is where I signed my first professional contract. Then I moved to TSK Hoffenheim, then Reading. And um, four months ago I moved to Huddersfield Town. In my life, football and fashion plays a big part with each other. You have to be consistent in both industries because there's a lot of competition in football. You're playing in front of 50, 60,000 people who judge you on your performance. In fashion, they judge you on what you're wearing. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of similarities. Fashion means expressing yourself in the most comfortable way. Some people, they're happy with having one look their whole life. And there are some people like me. Oh yeah, that's good, that's really good. Hey, you see that? Yeah, you see that? Yeah, yeah. That's really good. That's crazy. I like you just about that. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you've got that. Okay. I've started the issue with Seth. That is quite successful. We created a lot of wow effects. Anti paparazzi. <laughs> Over the last two years, we went viral. We reached, I don't know, two billion people on social media. And a lot of celebrities were wearing our scarves, our umbrellas and the hoodies because they were just going crazy about the reflection. So I think that was quite a cool thing. One thing that I'm confident in is like every single day, I know we're doing, we're getting better. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to stop. Like some yeah. people would have like maybe did the scar scar and then, then stopped after and started popping bottles course. and yeah. you know what I mean that's me done buy a house buy a car I'm living I'm chilling but I'm like nah like yeah. we reinvest and we go crazy and we wow them again and again and again and we do that consistently which is the key which you tell me all the time you know consistency consistency of course, like of course. that it's, makes it's, the difference it's the same in sports it's the same in uh, I don't know business whatever you do like. Consistency is key, so if you have one good game and you play shit the next 20 games, you don't go far, do you? Yeah, you don't, so, yeah. so that's the same thing with, 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 with fashion yeah. itself. Um, and that's why I love it. You know, you have always room to grow. Just park here, huh? Yeah, you might as well. I don't think anything else can come down in traffic wise. It doesn't Just look leave it in front of the gates, can't you? Yeah. Well, what's this? It looks like an old It's jail. a pump. It's a pump. You can hear the water pumping. It's like a pump. Oh. So it pumps water out from somewhere and takes it into the... One day, I remember, I was at home and um, I get a call from your Cleansman. I said, hey, that's funny. I didn't believe that it was him. And he said to me, listen, Danny, I followed your steps, your career, and you're progressing very well. I would like to invite you to a camp. <laughs> and that was a dream come true. One of the worst moments for me was definitely my injury. I picked up before the World Cup 2014 because you work a whole life, I would say, for that moment to actually be in the squad for the World Cup. And then overnight, after a flight, your knee swells up and you don't know what's going on. Then you go and see the doctor and he says, the World Cup dreams are over. So then that day I started crying. <laughs> I turned off my phone and I realized one bad injury it can all be over, you know, the football dream you live in, the kind of like fast life you're living. So it changed a lot of my life, the way I thought about things, because I sat down, I read a few books, started to think about what do I want to do if football maybe fails. I found my joy, besides football, in fashion, and that's the route I want to go to. I need to be in the Premier League. That's the biggest goal. Football comes first, because without football, I would have not been able to go any further and see all these things. In the near future, I want to do something on my own. I want to create my own line. I want to put my own flair and style into something. I have another football friend, Leroy Sane, and in the near future, I hope to do something with him. And uh, hopefully I can take it very far with that as well. <laughs>